Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dragons today with me, Tiny Turtle. Still no Scuba Steve. Ooh, we better start looking for him soon because I'm getting worried, I am. A lot of you guys have a lot of different conspiracy theories or ideas of what has happened to him, but we still have no idea. So hopefully soon we can figure it out, guys. But right now, let's concentrate on the fact that we have got all four Night Fury's back. The family are back together. They're so happy. We got Dark Light. We got Econ. We got Stardust. And we got Frost. It, it's just great. It's great to see them all back together. Now, I did say that I wanted to get somewhere for them to live. And I think that's what we're going to concentrate on right now. They need some really, really cool things. Um, we need to find out every fact we know about Night Furies, Light Furies, every fact we can. And then kind of team their homes based on what they like. So, before we start guys, if you want to see double daily dragons, remember you guys are killing it. You guys are crushing it. 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes guys and I'll do another episode again today. It's a lot to do two a day but as long as you guys keep killing it then I'll do it. I'll absolutely do it for you guys if you are enjoying it that much. It's great to see and I am glad you guys are. So let's get a move on. All right so like I've got four knife Furies, you know and who's to say we might not have more. I don't want like anything like this. I want something really 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 cool. I'm kind of thinking I don't know, I just had a little idea, kind of like big lily pads, but like that go up. So it's like a big stem, and then lily pads that come off that are all different colors for each of the knife furies to uh, sit on. So I have a lot of work to do, as you can tell. But, you know what guys, our nation is getting pretty good. For any of you guys who haven't he been here before, welcome. This is the Myth Nation. That's another thing, we gotta get some branding around, we gotta get some Myth Nation logos around. But this is our nation. Well, Scoob Steve isn't here. We don't know where he is. Uh, hopefully he's safe. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he hasn't um, abandoned us for another nation. But this is our Lava Natter. He's beautiful. This is our Ice Natter in here. We do need to come up with some names. I know I keep saying it, but I need to go back through all the comments and really find which ones are the best that you guys have been saying. But constantly give me names. Give me ideas. Say, like, Lava Natter, this, da 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 Hang on a second, have those tribes people followed me back here? I... I told them. Okay, wait. They're not attacking me. Oh, they're all going a bit crazy though. Hello. Yes, oh, I told them I was their god. <laughs> oh no. They think I'm their god because they followed me back here. There's so many. Is there more up there? Oh, what are we going to do? What did I do? I dressed up as a spaceman god and they think that I'm their god and now they're in our nation. How did they even follow me? They're like, they're pretty smart for tribes people. I mean, they got here pretty quick. Alright, I'm gonna get some blocks ready anyway and we can get going on this. I'm thinking big like avatar style, just really really cool. Big glowy lily pads with like glowing rocks and stuff. It could be pretty awesome, so let's see uh, Let's see what we got. I'll get some different blocks and I'll get this ready because these guys need homes and who knows like, you know, Dark Light and Stardust are all grown up now. They could find other Night Furies and have more Night Fury babies and all of a sudden we could have like 25 Night Furies all with different names that I have to remember. But uh, it would be worth it. It would be fun. So let's grab some blocks and let's get this going. Alright guys, so this is along the idea of what I am talking about. So let's grab Stardust and have a little fly and I'll show you what's going on. Now, I kind of wanted it to have different pads. Like I said, lily pads. I'm obviously going to do a lot more detail on them. Make it look really cool because it's going to be a main feature in our area. I mean, they probably do have to be a bit wider too. Because I, like, I can have a dragon on them, but I kind of want them to have a bit more space. But it is pretty cool. You can see everything from up here. Um, oh, wings and wings and thing are down there. And uh, maybe I'll just will I try and get them all up? See what they think. Definitely put some little walls. I want to do like really cool crystal stuff as well. I mean the crystals in with the neon nether are really cool. Who we are going to name Neo by the way, guys. You you guys gave me the good idea of naming this 
little guy in here, Neo. Now, he's still getting healed by these crystals, but I want to make sure that this over here is just amazing. So I want to put crystals all over it using some glass and some chisels and stuff. Make it really, really cool. And, like, I don't know. I need to put a lot more detail on it, definitely. So let me grab some of the glass. We can build some crystals and get that started. And then I want to see it at night time because I want to see it glow. I want to get some uh, light in there as well. All right, guys, as you can see, I've done a little bit more. I just planted a few of the saplings we had, all the different colored trees, and I put a lot of vines all over it. So let's see when that grows, see what it looks like. I'm not really sure, and if it does look good, I can get some more. Now, for the idea for the, uh, for, the vi for the crystals and stuff, I was checking out this stuff. This is like the mushroom cap stuff. Uh, we could use a bit of that. I kind of need to find somewhere dark for a second. Because I want to test out these glow blocks underneath like the same color glass then chiseled into uh, what we need like a crystal okay so it changes there because it did look a little bit different but this could look good anyway I mean it's the kind of vibe we're going for you know or maybe I'll just oh, if I chisel the glow blocks I think it I ruined the glow I think the glow would go. Oh, the glow got... Did that just get... More glowy? Did that get brighter? I need to go somewhere that's a bit darker for that. Because if I could do this, I could make really cool Chris. It did get brighter, didn't it? Okay, we've got that. It gets brighter. Okay, okay. Now let's see if we can make a little crystal out of this then. Because this would be even better. I mean, this is perfect. I need to do a stack of crystals all together and then I can copy and paste it all around this tree and have a look at it at night time and see what it looks like. I want it to look really, really cool guys. So I've got to do a bit of work to be able to do that. Um, I'm not too worried if I break the ground or mess up or anything. I do just need to make sure I get it right though. Uh, let me see, let me see, I'll take off. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to start cutting chunks and see what it gets gets like by the end of it. And then we can figure it out then. You know, get a little bit closer to a crystal shape first. I don't want to go really slow and really painfully boring. We just want to get these crystals and we want to move on. But yeah, I want to talk a little bit about Scuba Steve as well. And go through a few of what uh, what you guys think. A lot of you guys said he was kidnapped by the tribe. But I think the tribe thing only came up a, a good bit after Scuba Steve was gone. So I don't know about that one. Um, of course, there's the whole he started his own nation. Some of you guys think he even joined the Fire Nation. But uh, another few thinks it's something to do with the Forgotten Nation. Because remember... It was around the time we met the Forgotten Nation that Scuba Steve went missing. And they seem a little bit dodgy as well. So I'm not too sure about that. So maybe that's something to look into as well, guys. Good um, good analysis, though. I don't know. He could have he could have started his own nation again. But it kind of doesn't make sense because he would tell me. You know, he would say, hey, listen, thank you so much for having me in the Myth Nation. But... I want to go start my own nation again, and that would have been fine. That would have been fair enough. But, I mean, to just go and do it? I don't know, guys. I don't think he would have done that. So, it means there's foul play. Some sort of foul play. And I will get to the bottom of it. Some At some stage. I just need to give these guys a home, and then maybe I'll do it. I'll go and just... I don't even know where to start. Like, how do I... I don't know. I could search around here for clues, but I mean, I probably would have seen something if there was something here. I've been here the whole time. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Where should I start, guys? You tell me. Where should I start to try and find Scoop Steve? Like, what do I do? Should I? I don't want to make this any um, taller because I want to keep it in in one block. If you know what I mean. Uh, let's get rid of a bit of this. It's getting better. It's getting better. It looks a bit choppy right now, but if I change this to maybe 
Mm, like a line. That could be good. We could like shape it out a little bit. Because it does like the whole way down. Oh, that did the whole way across. Oops. Oops. That's my bad. But yeah, this can definitely help. Okay, once we get one then. We'll throw it up. Wait for night time, see what it looks like. Then maybe do a few more later on. Remember I used to make the dragon heads? Oh, I need to do that again. That was a lot of fun. I used to actually try and carve out what a dragon looks like, like a dragon statue. And they looked pretty cool. Some of them did anyway. They got they got a lot better. Let's keep going. Hmm. Is it looking good? Can <laughs> like a little bit. Oh, it's got it is looking crystally. It's getting there. Just need to sharpen out the top of this a little bit. You know, it's a bit uh bit square or something. Maybe just change it to single bit. Single bit. There we go. Like that, so we can kind of edge it up. Sharpen it up a bit. Because crystals are usually sharp, like I picture them sharp. Kind of like what's in Neo's pen there. Well, the, the, you know, the recovery pen. That, that means we need a pen for Neo as well. Oh no. Like, he's got to be in the recovery pen for a while though. Before we get him back to normal. I mean, if Scuba Steve does come back, he's in for a shock, guys. This place has changed so much, even in the few days he's been gone. Okay, what do we think? We're looking all crystally. I think it's looking good. Let's get that around and see if it glows at night time. Oh, oh, it is looking good. It is working. Now imagine we had loads and loads of different crystals around. It would be pretty awesome. So I'm going to have to get working on a lot of that stuff, guys. The vines are starting to grow, which is good. Uh, let them kind of overtake the place. Then we'll have tons of crystals. Little, big, small, yellow, pink, blue, green, red. All the colors. And this, this place is going to look pretty awesome. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it there on this. Um, but I'm going to check uh, wings, and <coughs> wings and things. See if they're okay. Is that a... No, what is that? That looks like a baby storm cutter. Guys, look at the size of... Oh, wow, he's so small. Oh, he's all white. He's like completely... Is that like an albino? No way, it worked. So remember, we had to research if they... Um, because obviously, this girl just came out of nowhere. And obviously really liked wings. So we had to build them a secure uh, field full of flowers and that is where they could stay together. And now look, we've got a little baby star cutter. <gasps> you're so strong. Oh, you're so strong. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but as soon as we get a new baby, I always want to have a go. I want to sit on their back and let them fly. Look how cool he is with his four wings. He's so small. Are you okay down there? Am I, I hope I'm not too heavy for you. <laughs> oh, he is awesome. Okay, I'm going to have to take him out. Okay, uh, wings. Okay, you know what? Let me see. I've said okay a lot of times. <laughs> because I keep changing my mind. Let's put you there for a second. Let's get wings and... Um, I never actually chose her name. Never chose her name. Hmm. I'll have to do that. I will have to do that. I'm going to get them back up on here. I have to say, that's, that knife fury thing is looking cool. But I'm going to have to make it sure it is slick, guys. Don't worry. If it looks a bit mismatched or anything like that, I will make sure that it looks the best. Over time. It'll take a bit of time. Just like Stormcutter Isle over here. It's just a big pile of rocks right now. But it will look good. I mean, we could have... We could have a lot of crystals over here, because I really like the way they glow. I mean, it just looks like a big mash of colors right now, but it will make sense. Maybe we should choose a couple of colors that are just like pink and green, maybe, or 
purple. I don't know. We should just kind of make sure it looks a bit uniform. All right, let's get wings and um, pink lady back up here. And this is where they live. Now I'm just gonna go and get your little baby into a safe place because it's not the safest out here. I know you guys can look after yourselves, but a little baby can't. So I'm gonna make sure the little baby grows up nice and strong. Okay, by sitting on it. Oh wait, let's put the knife here. Oh, the mushrooms grow glow too. We could put some mushrooms up there. Let's put the knife here. He's over here. Why not? I mean, I know it's not even nearly done, but it's kind of cool. It's a cool area. So, Stardust, you can go there. Should I do all of the pads to match the colors? Although, how could I do Econ? He's kind of like all sorts of colors. Let's put you over here. Mm, ow! Ow! Oh, 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 slow down. You climb really fast. I guess it's from going to space. All those times. <clears throat> okay. Let's get Dark Light up there. Now, they've all got their own little bit of space. And, of course, Frost, the original, the queen. She can go up the top. Right up the top. Mm -hmm. This actually looks like Frost, doesn't it? This little storm cutter. Oh, we're going to need a day for him as well. But of course, he doesn't get his full colors until he's until he's older. Those look blue eyes, all white. That is pretty cool. Do you think this could be like the king or queen of storm cutters? Wait, no, no, no. That's not who we're putting up there. <laughs> Sorry, little baby storm cutter. Making you do all this flying for no reason. Let's get frost all the way up. And dive. Now, Frost, you can look after our kingdom from up here. And don't worry, it will be better. It will be cooler. I promise. I promise. Might even make them, um, make them grass. Like, make them much bigger. Make them grass, maybe. And kind of give them a bit more features. And then that way they're all similar. But then all the rocks and stuff would glow. All the crystals. That could be pretty cool. All right, now where are we going to put you? We gotta bring you inside with us, just to keep you safe for now. And it is night time, guys. Maybe I'm gonna take a nap and figure out what to do in the morning. Maybe we can we can have a little hunt for... Okay, how am I gonna get you in here? Um, am I gonna hurt my head here? Ow! I knew it. Okay. You wanna stay there? Okay. Ooh, let's put you over here. Right by... You wanna get on the bed. You go in the left-hand side. I'll go in this side. Okay, <laughs> let's have a nap. All right, little buddy, nap time is over. It is night time. Wait, why did I wake up? Let me try this again. What just happened, guys? Did I just wake up in the middle of the night? <laughs> I guess, I guess, well, I'm fully rested, so let's go. I don't know, I guess it's staying dark. We've got a uh, eclipse. Oh, look how cool that's going to look. I mean, I don't want these as chunky. I want to make them thinner. But, and maybe put one at the back there. But that's going to look really, really cool when we get it all done. Might get rid of this little minecart system and put a, put like a little park in place or something. But we need to figure out something for this little guy now. Huh, maybe we could do it inside? How cool would that be? If we could do it inside and then have like a top that could open. Just to keep him safe. And obviously, you know, he's a little baby... Uh, Stormcutter. Oh, you know what? I needed to look up everything I could about Night Furies too. So, Night Fury, Dragon. Let's go into the Dragonpedia. The Dragonpedia tells you all about dragons and what you need to know. So, we've got the Night Fury. Let's see. Once thought of the as once thought of as the unholy offspring of lightning and death itself. Who? Okay, playful, inquisitive, and intelligent. So we need to get some toys, maybe, or like sheep or something that they can play with. Um, they're extremely protective and will stop at nothing to guard you. Do do do. Hmm. They command respect of all other dragons. Hidden abilities. They possess an echolocation sense, not unlike radar or sonar. So when they're flying through the dark or cramped environments. They uh, put a blast out and it bounces off the terrain and returns. And they know where things are. 
that is pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, let's see, what do we do? Will we do a Stormcutter Cave? Oh, I have a really cool idea now, actually. Okay, I'm going to get to work, and I'll come back when we've got a bit of it done, because it's going to look pretty slick, guys. And look at this, guys. This was my kind of idea. I definitely want to put some pillars in, but there's glass there. Obviously, I want to make it a lot cooler, but I want to maybe even make it a little bit higher. Maybe make it so that the uh, storm cutters can go... Ooh, we missed it. Maybe fly in and out so that they can go inside underneath if they want. Or they can sit up top. I want to make these like a lot more spiky and pointy as well. So, uh, like I said, I've been working a bit on the nation. And I do want to keep doing that, guys. Because it's important that we have the biggest, coolest nation ever. Let's actually go in there. So, I, I need to just actually change that. And obviously do the inside. I want to bring it up a little bit higher. So, storm cutters can actually fit in here. But check it out. Look, this is so cool. It's such a big area as well. And I want to put some pillars, some columns, like holding it up so that it makes sense. And I actually destroyed a bit of this accidentally. But that's okay. He's still okay in there. Looks like he's healing up nicely. But look at these crystals. This is what I need. I need like cool crystals all over the place. But like big versions of them. But that's it. Look at that. I think it's, uh, I think it's starting to make sense. Of course, I'll smooth it all out. But... We're definitely getting somewhere. I'm going to leave the little baby storm cutter over here. Here for now. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? We should find out everything we can about the storm cutters. Right. Let's have a quick look. Shall we? Now back onto our Dragonpedia. Um, what kind of E is a... Oh, I know this one. A sharp? Yes. We had that in our storm cutter test. He is a sharp class. Okay, so let's go in and have a little look at the storm cutter. It is loading, guys. We're going to find out everything we need to know. Um, and then, you know, we can help team their area around it. If it ever loads. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Does it load when we need it? Storm cutter info. Here we go. Here's some more. The four wing sharp class flyer can turn its head so far around it can see behind it. We knew that. We knew that. Okay. Let me see. The, the, the abilities. Is indeed very sharp. A formidable hunter and fighter. Lots of speed and agility. Rotating head. Hooked talents. Intelligence. Can quickly understand the difference between people that are threats or not. It's cool. Weaknesses. Just like Night Furies, a Stormcutter is incapable of flight if one of the tail fins is damaged. Okay. Um, they can hang themselves upside down like a bat. That is cool. Okay. Alright, well we don't really learn too much about... Like, look how good that's looking. All the vines are starting to grow. It is looking pretty slick. I definitely want to change it up a bit. But it's looking good. I mean, our nation is coming together. Great, guys. Uh, so, I want it to be daytime. I mean, why isn't it daytime? <laughs> why isn't it? I need to figure out how to look after the baby storm cutter. I know once we had... We had one before, but we had to go and bring them to tests and all that. But I think it's time we get, like, a, a baby daycare area. Because if we had a daycare, then it would start to work out. Like, look at this. If we had... Hmm, we had crystals like this as well. I could actually do this really fast, I betcha. I don't want it really uh, messy like that one. I want it looking a bit more uh, pointy. A bit more straight and solid. Like what we're about to do. You know, big chunks rather than making it all tiny like that. Let's see if it makes sense, because it'll probably look a little bit better from further away then. Get that out of there. Is this looking better? It might be. Let's take it a little bit more. Kind of step it a bit. Like that. 
And then if we step it all up to the top, just start concentrating on the top bit now. That should do it. Like, I mean, it should be a really cool crystal then. I don't... Hopefully. Let's see. Ooh. These chisels can go pretty far. So if you miss the blocks you're, you're trying to do, you could end up doing, like, the house back there. No, that's too far. But you know what I mean? They go really far. Okay, okay. I want to see what this looks like from a bit further back now once I do this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. Then maybe we'll just put some on top to really stick it out. Oh. Oh, it doesn't glow anymore when you put them on top. Is that is that what's happening? I mean, look at that. That was easy to do, and that's a big looking crystal I think <laughs> you guys let me know which which kind of version do you like better the small kind of messier version or the big version that we can uh, do real quick so I had then blue ones as well and all different colors it could look really really slick let's have a look from down here because we could get them going crooked and stuff yeah I think that looks better I mean we'll just mix and match them but that's working. It is working. Alright, let's see. Let's get Neo out. Neo seems to be fine. And I don't think Neo's been out properly. Let's throw away this instead. Um, <clears throat> like, hasn't been oh, interacted with other dragons or anything. Neo's pretty big. I mean, is Neo bigger than the Lava Nutter? Let's see. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I know he's definitely bigger than the Ice Nutter. That's four Deadly Nutters. Yeah, four Deadly Nutters we have. Okay, let's see. Put them together. Oh, Lava may be bigger. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Lava kind of looks bigger, but then again, it's a little bit closer. Let's get... Oh, you can't push up closer. Hmm, I think they're the same size. I think they're definitely the same size. And this is a normal Deadly Nutter size. So you can see how big these guys are. Oh, watch out. They're like an extra 50%. Look how big they are. <laughs> Which is really, really cool. What kind of dragons do we have? We have four Deadly Nutters. We have three Storm Cutters. Oh, it's a nettle. Three Storm Cutters now. And we have four Night Furies. That is a pretty good roundup. But... Of course, if we count Scuba Steve's, let me put all the Natters in together for now, so that they can play and um, be together. But if we count Scuba Steve's dragons, we've got, oh, what, five forest dragons, including the babies, and then the two Gronkle babies, or three Gronkle babies, I can't remember, and Chub Chub. Can we go on up? Nope, we're not going up. Boom, get me over. I definitely need to put a door system in there. Alright, this is your first time interacting with other dragons. You must be so excited. Well, in a long time, anyway. Maybe not the first time, but first time in a long time. And can I get out of here? I can. Oh, and I put myself back in another one. There we go. Oh, I landed on your back. That was pretty good landing. Okay, let's throw you in there. Alright. That looks good. And let's continue on getting a bit of work done. Now that all the dragons are happy to play. Oh. Let me up. Huh. No, come on. Okay, let's go up here. Let's give Steve never finished his watchtower either. But this is looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this underground. It feels like, like a bat cave or something. I don't know. Maybe let's, uh, let's, I'm going to open this up a little bit more and get the ground down, get a bit of light in there and see what it really looks like. All right, guys, I just put in a stone floor so we can have a little look. It's still so dark in here and in daytime, which is good. It's kind of what I wanted. Um, I ran out of stone. I didn't get a chance to do all this, but I definitely might put another entrance in here. Uh, does that go at the top? Oops. We're gonna have to block that up a bit. 
But yeah, this is looking pretty cool. I don't know, I might change it for this glass. It's a bit more like you can see that it's glass then. And obviously put in the uh, the big pillars. But I want to make sure there's enough space down there for a stone cutter. Which... Ooh, right now there's probably not. Maybe over here a little bit, but not really to move around. And look, this is looking good. I might get rid of these trees, but it's looking quite good. I like these crystals, and I like all the knife furies doing their tang up there. So, what I think I might do... What is going on? Why are we missing some bricks here? Let's just fill it in with this. Nobody will ever notice. What I might do is go back to the Stormcutter Nation, or... I don't know, somewhere. I need to go somewhere to figure out where I can... Or how I can help this baby Stormcutter grow up to be the best. Ah, I need to figure out this tribe. I forgot them. I mean, look at them. There's... How many is there there? Because there was a lot of them, and I did kind of tell them I was their god. Oh, look, there's more over here. What's that, like five, six? And then all these guys... That's not your nest. You don't get the nest in here. Let me see. Is there any more around? Oh, I know I saw them up there somewhere. Oh, they're down here. Why have they all followed me? Oh, well, I guess we've got a few people in our nation. That's, uh... Yeah, that's fun. I guess it... it, it <laughs> we can't really complain. I can't complain. I don't want them. I don't want all these tribes. Man. Maybe a few. Will we build them some huts? I don't know. Should I, like, build them some huts and just let them stay here because they worship us? I mean, there's probably a lot of them around. Let me go up here and see. This nation has come a long way since we started. Like, I remember we, we just started with this little house. Now look at this place. It's looking cool. I want to make that look better, but it will look good. Oh, guys, they're everywhere. <gasps> what am I going to do? What did I do? I should have thought of this. Well, I definitely didn't think they'd follow me, but I should have thought of this. Okay, I'm gonna have to get them a little area or something, and they can worship the dragons, that's fine. Maybe I could get them work and doing a bit of work. Hello down there. Yes, yes, I am your god. I remember. Yes. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Oh, what? They're... Ah! Are they, like, all inviting their, their family and their relatives and all? Guys, that's literally about 50 to 100 there. Okay. On that note, I think I'm going to end up today's episode. Of course, if you want to have a second one, guys, 5k likes, thumbs up on the video, and um, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, if you want to grab your merch, link is in the description. Not long left on this new design, so grab it while you can. And of course, we will have some new stuff soon too. But guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!